to believe when you rise up to say your prayers you must wash your faces wa aidikum min al-marafiq and your hands till your elbows wamsahu bi ru'usikum and wipe your heads with water wa arjulakum and also wash your feet till al-kaban till the ankles up till the ankles wa in kuntum juruban if you are unclean due to the seminal discharge that seminal discharge may be due to coitus sexual intercourse or it might be due to a light fall if in kuntum juruban fattahru now you have to to have to clean yourself thoroughly that is now you to have to take a bath you have to bathe your whole body wa in kuntum marwa but if you are diseased if you are sick and ill you can take a bath aw ala safarin or you are on some journey you don't find water aw jahadukum min ajab adum minkum min al ghait or someone of you comes from you know the toilet and he has you know answered the call of the nature aw la mustum nisa or you had some you know intercourse with the women falam tajidu man and you don't find water fatayammamu saidan tayyiba so perform tayammum now seek pure earth tayyiban fam sahu bi wujuhikum wa yadikum min and now you just rub or wipe your faces and your hands with it ma yuridu allah li yaj'ala alaykum min haraj allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want to give you hardships or difficulties or impediments in deen walakin yuridu li yutahhirakum but he does want to purify you all these commandments are for the purification he wants to purify you but doesn't want to overburden you so he has given the concession if the water is not there if you are sick you can't to take a bath okay then only tayammum will suffice so allah makes the things easy for you wala yutimma ni'matahu alaykum la'allakum tashkurun and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to complete his blessings on you so that you are really grateful to him and thankful to him bas kuru ni'matullahi alaykum now this is the most important ayah of this surah i told you this is the surah of covenant bas kuru ni'matullahi alaykum always keep in mind the blessings of allah on you wa misaqahu allazi wasaqakum bihi and his covenant that in which he has tied you is qultum sami'na wa ta'na when you said we have heard and we have accepted and we obey and we submit now this is a covenant the sharia is an agreement is a covenant between you and your rabb your lord wa wasaqakum bi is tied you now you are not a free man like other free people he can do anything he likes but now you are tied up tied up with the peg like the horse مثل المؤمن كمثل الفرس في خيته the likeliness of a muslim woman is the to the likeliness of a horse tied to a peg with a rope now you are tied you believe in allah you have to obey him. you believe in messenger of allah you have to follow him you believe in quran you have to act upon it ya ayyuhal ladhi wazkuru ni'mat allah alaykum wa misaqahu alladhi wasaqakum bihi is qultum sami'na wa ta'na wattaqullah always keep allah in your mind in allah alim bi zat as sudur verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is there in your chest ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu i refer to this ayah last night also ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin lillah shuhada bil qist this ayah appeared in surah an-nisa also only in the reverse you know order ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin bil qist shuhada lillah that was in surah an-nisa يا ايها الذين امنوا كونوا قوامين لله ستاند اب وذ فول فورس فور الله سبحانه وتعالى ناو يو ار هيز سولجرز اون ارث يو ار ذا بوليس مان اوف الله اون ارث يو ار ذا ريبريزنتيتيف اوف الله اون ارث يو هاف تو انفورس هيز لوز يو هاف تو استابليش هيز دين وذ فول سترينث ذات الله سبحانه وتعالى هاز جيفن يو ستاند اب كونوا قوامين لله شهداء بالقسط and you should be a witnesses to whatever is just you should be enemies of injustice that is the importance of justice in islam ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin bil qist shuhada lillah ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin lillah shuhada bil qist 
and these two things are interchangeable. Allah is the just one. When you are standing upright for Him, you are standing for justice. Kunu kawamina lillahi shahada bil qiswala yajrman nakum shanaan wa qawmin ala Allah ta'adilu. And look to it that the enmity or hatred of a nation should not be able to take you away from justice. You have to do justice even to the enemy. Allah Allah ta'adilu a'adilu. Do justice. Huwa aqrabu li taqwa. That is nearer to taqwa. And without taqwa you are nothing. Without taqwa you won't get anything in the hereafter. And justice is nearer to taqwa. Wa taqwa Allah. And have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah khabirun bima ta'amaloon. Verily Allah knows what you are doing. وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Allah has made a solemn promise with those who come to believe and then they do good deeds. لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَعَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ For them is the forgiveness and a very big reward. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا As for those who conceal, now these are two words, you know, كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا Are they synonymous? Absolutely synonymous. No two words of a language are absolutely synonymous. That's the rule. There's difference. And it's not poetry. It's the kalam of Allah. There's no additional word here. What is kufr? To hide something. It is kufr. Now the nature of a person testifies to it that this is correct. He's suppressing his nature, hiding the testimony of his nature. It is kufr. And what is taqzeeb? Now he's belying it. You are wrong. You are not a prophet of Allah. This is the, this is a crime of a higher degree. You are suppressing the truth to which your own nature, your own heart is testifying. This is kufr. And you are saying you are wrong. Oh Muhammad, you are not the prophet of Allah. This is taqzeeb. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا أُولَاكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَحِيمِ Those who have committed this double crime, they suppressed and, and concealed the testimony of their natures and their souls, which was testifying to the truth of Muhammad and the truth of this book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then, you know, they had the courage to say out, you are wrong. This is, you are not the prophet of Allah. You are a liar. Kazab. So whosoever does this, ulaik ashabu al-jaheem, they are the people of hell. Oh, you who believe, just remember Allah's blessing upon you. When a nation 